The Adventures of O.O. Dilly, a game where you're playing as a crash test dummy, trying to get it to the target of each one of the stages. But would you be a dummy for not picking up this one? Or should you just let it crash and burn? In The Adventures of O.O. Dilly, you're controlling a crash test dummy who's brought to life by aliens. There's a little bit of story in the form of like a comic book still cutscene at the beginning of the game, but outside of that, you won't be bogged down by any plot lines. The gameplay itself all involves you firing your character and then bouncing it off a variety of objects, eventually landing at a target at the end of the level. Controls are simple and I had no problem getting them down. Once you've launched your character into the air, all it is is moving and you're able to hold forward to go a little bit faster, hold back to slow down. You unfortunately cannot change the camera during your action, so unfortunately there's a lot of times where it can be a little bit tricky to line up where you're going to land. Just simple control of the camera would have allowed a little bit easier overall gameplay. As you make it farther into the game, the levels do increase not only in size, but some of the actions you'll have to do get a little bit trickier. Smaller platforms that you'll have to land on to launch yourself, or you'll have to land on a plank of wood and then this goat will slowly push a rock onto the platform to launch you even farther. Unfortunately, you can't skip the cutscene, you have to sit there and watch it every time, which really ends up slowing down the momentum. And then there's other times where you have a bear that's throwing stuff at you that can hit you in midair and cause you to instantly crash as well. The only real issue I had with the game was there are slowdown issues, and they happen pretty frequently in levels, and can of course cause you to end up messing up and lose that particular turn. Every time you crash, you just start the level over again from the beginning, though it does have a life system that keeps track of your high score. Once you run out of lives, it resets the high score, but outside of that, there's no penalty for losing in the game. Once you kind of get down the controls and momentum, you'll probably start breezing through a lot of the levels, and unfortunately the game isn't very long. The 12 main levels, and even with the extra levels, will probably only take you maybe an hour, hour and a half if you're having some trouble. From the technical side of things, like I mentioned before, there was some slowdown that ended up hindering my progress here and there, but thankfully there was no crashing. The Adventures of O.O. Dilly is available on the PlayStation 4 for $14.99, and it does not have a Platinum Trophy. This one's also available on Xbox One and PC. Overall, if you're looking for a momentum-based game like this where you're going towards a target, I recommend checking out the kind of out there and different, but very fun Verlet Swing. I ended up having fun with that one a little bit more so than something like Adventures of O.O. Dilly, which was enjoyable for a tiny bit of time, but quickly the issues start at the mount, and the length of the game really ended up making it something that's a bit hard to recommend. With everything said, I'm going to be giving it a just okay 5 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.